hello so we are back and this time we have our customer Elliot who bought the charging port for um, that Asus ROG console thanks to you so what we have now is to replace this port probably with one hand I'm really sorry about uh, about this uh, I don't really want to speak about this but let's say my new chainsaw it's working great yeah but before we are starting let's speak about today's video sponsor pcbway pcbway it's your one-stop solution based on the fact that all kind of pcbs 3d printing cnc she metal are available from them every new register they are getting five dollars welcome bonus which is about 10 pcbs so you will get 10 pcbs for free all you have to do is to pay for the postage now I did check myself the PCB quality, we can clearly see here we are speaking about uh, a top-notch uh, PCB manufacturer. Now don't forget you can uh, check the link on the description and uh, you can place your first order. Now let's go back to our uh, repair. The console is still, uh, is still open so we have to replace the port. Yeah that's the reason why you see no video this week but we have to, we have to fix this. I mean, it's not a hard job, it's just soldering, so I'm assuming we can do it with one hand. Good. So how are we are replacing this port? That's my question. Huh? Uh, the right approach to replace a port like this. Kind of like all metal. Uh, yeah, about the same. What do we have on the other side? We have nothing basically, so we can actually do it from the other side. Probably it's no point, right? Because we have the pins here. We don't have the pins inside. But let's take the port out and uh, let's have a look. Good, I think we are fine. So the port is damaged, okay? So we are coming with max heat from the top. Doesn't matter if, you have, if we are melting the port. We need some kind of, uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. Maybe like that. Good. Hot air. Yeah, this should be, should be fine, should be fine. Trying to avoid that uh, socket. And the port, it's out. Uh, let's have a look at the microscope. Okay, so we have uh, pins on the front and on the back on the both ports. So I will say let's use some solder paste. Solder paste, we are looking to lower the melting, uh, the solder melting temperature. Looking good. So how is looking to you? Hmm? Yeah, we need some rosin. Just a little bit. Perfect. Little bit of solder paste here. This is 140 degrees solder paste. Now 
But just because we are using 140 degrees, that, that doesn't mean the, the solder melting temperature on the board, it will be 140. We are mixing the old solder with, the, with my solder. So the final melting temperature is somewhere in the middle. Perfect. Let's clean it. We have to be sure it's clean before soldering the port. Okay, from my point of view, it's looking great, no? right? Now, how we are soldering the new port? And this is a good question. So the new port, uh, yeah, not sure because the, the pins are here. So we can use heat from the other side of the board. But we have to see when we are putting the, the port on the board. Kind of tricky. Okay, let's start with low temperature heat from the top and if it's not going how we want then we can try with the heat from the back I'm gonna use some uh, liquid rosin just a little bit and we have the port on the board you know what even with 400 degrees we don't really, we didn't really melt this port. I mean, yeah, we melted a little bit. Yeah, but let's go safe and let's try with 380 degrees. So this is 380. And the solder is getting melted, which is great. <gasps> wait, 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 one second. Not sure it's supposed to go more inside. So the solder is melted, but the port is not going inside. Okay, with 380 we are melting the plastic. Let's try with 360, 350 actually. Yeah, this plastic is getting melted uh, with lower temperature. With 350, the solder is still... Uh, yeah, why the port is not going inside? And the port is going down. Now let's see here. On this side. So at this point, the port 
uh, it's inside of the board. So what do you think, the port is soldered or not? Hmm? I will say yes. Good, let's go quickly at the edge of the port. We need some solder here. This is a 180 degree solder. Yeah, that's what happened with the new ports, yeah. The solder is not getting into the pin. Let's use some rosin. Good, so here is solder. Perfect. So the port, it is soldered on place. Now the question is, it's working. Hmm. Yeah, everything is looking fine. Let's plug a charger and see what it's doing. So, plug in the charger. And the meter is not coming on. Why? I mean, I'm pretty sure the port it is still the wrong place. No. Okay, let's check the, the port pins. Oh, that sucks. No. Actually, no pin is sold. I mean, only pins from this side. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's do it one more time. Overconfidence? Yeah, probably. Probably. Three hundred fifty degrees. Okay, at this point, I can bet all pins are sold on place, and we're gonna check that. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, the board is hot. Cooling down the board a little bit. The meter is coming on. Check that 19 volts. Huh? What do you think about that? Let's try it from the other side. And the meter is coming on and we have 19 volts. Huh? What do you think about that? Trying one more time from this side. Meter is coming on. I mean, we can move it. Wait one second, yeah. Up and down, solid, yeah. I believe the port is proper solder now. Now let's be sure it's clean and nice. Yeah, need to be clean. Then we have this thingy. Good. And we have this thingy. Perfect. Just give me like a few minutes to put all back together and do like a final test. Everything is back in place. Let's plug the battery. Good. And let's plug the charger. Plug in the charger and the meter it is coming on. 19 volt. Oh, it's not charging without the back cover. Okay, let me put the back cover. Okay, 
So the back cover it's on. Plug in the charger again. Yeah, it is charging. I can see the orange light. And check that it's taking current. You can see 700 milliamps. Perfect. So have in mind, without the back cover, it's not charging also. Pressing the power button and the console, it is coming on. And it's working fine. Good. So what do you think? It is hard. It's not really hard, but you need a lot of patience. I didn't expect that port to get soldered and actually come out so hard, so long. I mean, I have to, to hold the hot air for long. Remember that port is getting melted, the plastic around 350 degrees, yeah? So don't use over 350. You don't have a reason to use more temperature because already you use solder paste or, you know, solder wire 140 degrees to lower the solder temperature. Okay, perfect. I'm happy I helped the customer. I'm going to stop now. I will say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one. Bye.